Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I was sitting here nicely in my balcony and I checked the Bitcoin price and guess what? If we have a look into the charts, Bitcoin is pumping. So it looks like that we might could be entering nicely and bullish into the weekend my friends. Today is Friday and it looks like that Bitcoin wants to try out to push again back above the 100 daily moving average and also above the 9 daily moving average which is also currently new resistance. If today we can close above $27,000 then in my opinion my friends we are in here for more uh, pushes to the upside potentially to test the 20 daily moving average, the mini line of the Kelton channels which is still resistance and over time of course also the main resistance up here perfectly matching all to the top of the Kelton channels at around $28,000. Slightly higher, but it's more or less there, the main resistance. And the nice thing is, if we go over into Nasdaq, you can see that here also we are seeing a massive uh, pump. Also Nasdaq is looking extremely bullish and I told you as long as Nasdaq is looking so bullish and is still pumping, it's very hard to be bearish for the crypto market as well. We can also have a look together into Ethereum because also Ethereum currently is nicely bouncing from the 100 daily moving average and here we are already trading right at the median line of the Kelton channel. So that could be a leading indicator that also Bitcoin is about to push towards the median line of the Kelton channels and of course also higher. It is currently at around $27,200 so more or less there. So Bitcoin needs to reclimb back above the 100 daily moving average at least here in the spot chart because remember over on the CME chart, we are still above uh, our support trend line and uh, way above the 100 daily moving average here. So on the CME chart, we're looking way more bullish than on the spot chart. And remember today, the CMEs are going to close. So this is also going to be important um, because remember, wherever we are going then during the weekend on the spot chart, uh, most of the times we are retracing back uh, to where we close the CMEs on Friday. And uh, the US dollar index, as you can see here, is getting some problems in pushing higher um, because we have this Fibonacci retracement level here. And I told you, my friends, that both the US dollar index and also NASDAQ were running into this uh, Fibonacci retracement uh, from the last um, uh, major top and bottom. And you can see that the US dollar index currently is struggling to push higher. So this could be, in my opinion, a potential rejection point while NASDAQ right now is pushing above uh, its uh, Fibonacci retracement level. So also here we had initially some problems to push higher, but as you can see right now we are breaking through. So it looks like that we are going to close this week in green for NASDAQ. We can also have a look into the weekly time frame because here it looks like that we are going to close above the top of the Celtic channels, extremely bullish. We are having the nine weekly moving average as a main support here for Nasdaq. This is actually what I also wanted to see for Bitcoin, but unfortunately here we are not looking that strong at the moment. And you can see that we are above the 200 weekly moving average that is okay but the nine weekly moving average is above of us and that of course is currently resistance once we have weekly closes above then i think that we are off to the races and that we will attack the 100 weekly moving average here on bitcoin at around 33k but until then of course there's a still a huge uh, risk here to fall lower so we are right at the edge here because we have the 20 weekly moving average we have the 200 weekly moving average and the support trend line all at around uh, 26 to 27 thousand dollars so it's getting very, very interesting, my friends. Uh, things are, in my opinion, still looking bullish for the crypto and stock market. But of course, we have to keep an eye uh, how we're going to close today, of course, and also how next week is going to be. And if you want to trade this volatility, do that over on BitTrue because currently you get $3,000 as a bonus. If you use uh, my sign up link, uh, it's very easy to get it. And also you can see that there are a lot of uh, new listings here as well. So if you're looking for uh, new coins that are listening right now on some exchanges, BitTrue is always one of the first one in listing some new tokens. So with that said guys, I'm gonna wrap it up for now. I hope that you like this quick and short Bitcoin price update. I'm going to enjoy this Friday evening at home most likely. And um, I wish you all the best. Have a great Friday evening and the weekend just has started. Let's wait and see if Bitcoin can do more and if we can reclimb back above the 100 daily moving average. So that's it for now, my friends. Thank you very much for watching and we're gonna see us all in the next one. Bye for now.